so as you can see we out here we're gonna go for our first ride on the GTS series and see what it's like see exactly what it's like I genuinely have not ridden it I put the lifesavers on it I threw my fender for my other GT on there and yeah I put the bottom blacks because I got I got bang bumpers on the way so I figured I would keep the stock set that it came with nice and pretty just in case I decide to get rid of the GT anyways so let's get this first ride here we go Zero miles. Custom shaping, I got single zone, and I got jump re-engagement. That's it. Everything else stock. fail right out the gate <laughs> So right off the bat, I immediately notice it's smooth acceleration. It doesn't have any, any torque give, any torque noise. And the, the low boy foot pads are, those are a game changer already. They feel so much more planted, I guess I would say. But uh, all right, let's get this ride going. Here we go.
tough mudder course. I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm ready for that right now. Alright, we made it to the off-road section of our first ride and we're going to hit the levee. We're going to go, we're going to reach full float state since I haven't in a while with haptic buzz and I don't know, my, my I feel like my GT goes, goes uh, slower but I think what it is is that the pushback is a little more extreme. I think they made it stronger, the pushback, and I, I can't ride through it comfortably. So maybe they didn't speed throttle, I'm not sure, but we're gonna get this first ride and I'm gonna reach max float state, which is right around 20, 22 miles an hour. Here we go.
Tough Mudder speed run course on the GTS for the first ride. We got from my house 6.1 miles. Boom. Hell yeah. I think float, full float state is at 25 for me now that I'm not experiencing pushback. But uh, yeah, that was an awesome first ride. Let's see what my max speed was. Ooh, you see that? Max speed 26.6. 26.6, yes sir. And I, I didn't wanna hurt myself. I wanted to get a good clean run. And uh, yeah, 26.6, just a helmet. I'll get all my full PPE sometime this weekend and I'll go ham on it not humble savage ham shout out to the homie hum humble savage uh i'm sorry to hear what uh one wheel how they're how they're treating you after the experience and everything but uh sometimes you got to do what you got to do you got to push the limits that's what it's all about so anyways first ride success i'm gonna ride home it's gonna be not very good footage because the sun's going down All right, guys, I made it home. One last real quick impressions, or last impressions, real quick. The off-road tire, I don't know what it is. That thing is phenomenal. I personally love it. The performance, the uh, one wheel performance tire, I love that thing. I, I have it at a uh, 13 PSI. I have Float Life Lifesavers on there just in case. And paired with the fender, it's so far i love it it's just the power the power delivery is so smooth that it almost brings like that uh that chaotic wobble out of out of the equation yet when you're pushing speeds you get the wobble anyways but i don't know there's some kind of uh some feeling that it gives you some security in knowing that your board's not gonna give out on you when you're pushing the speeds or when you're pushing on the torque uh, limits. So anyways, I just thought that I would uh, put that out there because yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful day and it's a beautiful ride and, and yeah, check it out. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Woo!